How to dry up breast milk. When it comes to drying up breast milk, there are many different reasons women want to quickly and painlessly dry up their milk supply. For instance, some women choose not to breastfeed and want to suppress lactation from the start while others have been breastfeeding for some time and are ready to wean. The process of drying up your milk can take days to weeks and varies from the person to person. Point one: The length of time it takes will depend on how long your body has been producing milk. Generally, the longer you have been nursing, the longer it will take to dry up your milk. In fact, some mothers report being able to express small amounts of breast milk long after their child has stopped nursing. Whatever your reasons for suppressing lactation, there are ways to effectively and safely dry up your breast milk without risking infection or engorgement. Here's what you need to know about drying up your breast milk. Preventing milk production. You'll begin to make a small amount of breast milk while you're pregnant. Point two: After your baby is born, breast milk production increases. By the third or fourth day after delivery, your milk will come in. You will most likely feel this in your breasts. You will continue to make breast milk for at least a few weeks after your baby is born. If you don't pump or breastfeed, your body will eventually stop producing milk, but it won't happen right away. If you have chosen not to breastfeed, you might wonder if there is anything that you can do to prevent lactation. When you are pregnant, you will experience the same hormonal changes, including those that stimulate milk production, whether you decide to breastfeed or not. There is no way to stop these processes. That said, after giving birth your breast milk will dry up if it is not used. Point three. This means that the less you stimulate your nipples or breasts after giving birth, the faster your milk supply will dry up.